Hello there and welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley. There is a lot of things happening that I think you should be aware of. So we we have news, bunch of news from uh, Disney Dreamlight Valley social media and we're going to go through all of this. Most of it is actually very good news. So uh, you, you're going to be excited to hear this. First of all, we're going to start about... First, I want to start by uh, reviewing this hotfix update that's coming next week. Which is amazing, which is pretty much going to be uh, potentially even tomorrow. Uh, not even the Frosted Heights Blizzard can slow you down. Another update, another batch of wonderful community feedback. They're listening to feedback, guys. I, I still can't believe it, but it's like every day I believe it more and more. Early next week we'll be releasing, which means could be Monday, could be Tuesday, a hot fix to address some notable bugs from the update launch. Well, let's see which things do they consider as bugs quests no longer block creating critter feeding so basically if you had a problem uh, feeding critters I, I guess quests certain quests were the reason i'm not sure but in any way in after the next patch update we will be able to feed critters again as normal which is amazing grand dandelion syrup in what home feels like quest dandelion syrup was that any th this is not like this is not one of the new quests because I would I would definitely remember dandelion syrup But it's good to know that it's fixed Fix cave progression blocker in stitches hobby quest. I have no idea what that means But apparently it was one of the biggest bugs in the in the last update main chest can be placed outside now This is the one where people are gonna be so happy I was afraid that it wasn't a bug and it was uh, an intentional feature because so many people use this uh, the main chest as basically as an ender chest and I wasn't sure if that was an intended use by the way it's a Minecraft reference basically it means that if you put them all over the valley they all link to one chest and I can definitely see how convenient it can be you can have one of these chests inside your storage room and then have like a bunch of them all over the valley and whenever you need to empty your inventory you can just empty it into that chest and then later after a couple times you empty your inventory you can come home come to your storage room and just move everything from your main uh chest to uh to your storage and uh the last update basically uh for some reason made the dark vintage chest outdoor only i guess it was I guess it was a bug, so that's good to know. If you don't have the light vintage chest uh, from Scrooge's store, now, again, next week you'll be able to put all of your dark chest back outside and everything is going to be great. Plus, it says more. I wonder what that more stands for. I guess we're going to find out soon enough, but that's not it. There's been a, a few blunders, a few very serious blunders with Premium Shop. A note on a premium shop. During this morning's premium show preset, we were made aware of an issue involving the bundles that were included. Premium shop items are intended to be exclusive to the shop, but today two bundles included items from Scrooge's store. So what happened is that when, when the shop reset, it, it had a few items that are basically purchasable from Scrooge, which who would spend moonstones on items that you can spend star coins on. So apparently a few people did. They didn't know those were Sc Scrooge's items. So people spend moonstones. And uh, basically they, they're now, uh, they already issued a fix and compensation to those people. Plus all of the items. Look at this. We're in the process of removing the scholarly study set and celestial book nook. And plan to replace them with, with correct bundles. But we got a premium shop compensation. Be not, not just people who got affected by it. Everybody got a compensation. Which I, I had no idea. what Like when I opened the game I saw an inbox and I was like what is this? Free items? We removed two bundles from the premium shop that featured items that were added in error. Since then we have replaced them with the correct bundles. And plan to provide the following reimbursements to the community. If you purchase the removed bundles, you will receive all in-game mail for each bundle you bought reimbursing your spent moonstones, which is fair. All players, you will receive in-game mail granting you all the items from the two removed bundles. So, 
we we just get a full like let me show you this in game what we got by the way if you haven't claimed it yet go do it now because it, they say it's gonna expire in in like the end of march so if you don't claim it within 30 days it's gonna expire and and, and it's pretty pretty good compensation so i don't know what what kind of a glitch is this that these the star pass messages like even when i read them when i come back when i restart the game it's it still shows like it's not red so basically uh where is this update on the premium shop due to unintended inclusion of items okay okay uh so yeah these are bundles that were selling for moonstones but they are actually available from scrooge and out of these six items two of them were new to me so i had four of these items before but two i just got two unique new furnitures for free i think it was this little metal and it was these uh this little scale and everything else i had before but i'm sure I, I i'm pretty sure most of the people will not have at least half of these items so it's a three unique items for free and now you can go to scrooge and buy more of them and these items are actually pretty cool like the window super good for celestial theme i like that uh little like a flower with ribbons to put on a wall overall if if they keep making mistakes like this and giving us free items i'm all for it i i wouldn't even call it a mistake they more than made it fair like the minimum they could have done is just refunding people their moonstones who purchased these bundles and I'm, I'm saying the minimum, but I know many companies who would not do even that. So I think they went above and beyond to make sure people are satisfied. And it's a huge, huge plus for Gameloft or whoever was in charge of this. W very well handled. So let's take a look at their Trello board real quick. So we have uh, a few issues they're working on right now in case you're wondering if this is getting fixed or not. So... Unable to feed critters, Stitcher's hobby quest, uh, what home feels like quest. Oh, this is Elsa's quest. Okay. So these are, we already know they're coming in upcoming hotfix in a few days. Making music. So they're working, they're aware of this stitch issue. Uh, founder pack reward missing. Okay, this one has been ongoing forever. Mushroom flower and fruit spawn rates balancing. Like, I honestly don't know what is this all about. I don't think there is any issues. Wild drops in certain biomes become less and less balanced as more biomes are unlocked, making quest progression difficult. I don't know, I guess when you have everything unlocked and all the quests completed, it doesn't really matter. I don't think it's a hu huge issue. I don't think, like, if you remember when the game just came out, people were complaining that they spent their dream shards on Dreamlight and uh, they couldn't progress in the game, even though the dream shards are not that difficult to get, even though they made it much easier to get in the future updates, but still, even even before it it wasn't that difficult to get so they they're definitely they're definitely trying to make people as comfortable as possible which is a good thing i think so good job on that for sure so the premium shop items are actually not intended to count towards your totals in the collection menu instead will be tracked separately from the items you collect i mean it makes sense so currently it's tracked together but they are gonna make it separate, which again makes sense. So we, from now on, we're getting clear separation between free items and paid items. Oh my god, if you want to turn off the blizzard haze effect in the game, it can be disabled during the disable flashes. So basically the fog that I'm seeing a lot, it can be disabled by dis disabling flashes. Interesting. I mean, I don't mind it, but it's good to know that you can turn it off. I noticed they didn't uh, address the the prices in the premium shop, which in my opinion was probably the, the biggest complaint. But to be fair, the last uh, batch of items we got are priced much more reasonably. I would still say it's overpriced, but honestly, everything... Well, we don't have a furniture set. Maybe furniture sets are just priced more, much, like triple, three times the price of closing sets, which is honestly makes no sense to me because clothing it's something that's on your screen all the time because you see your character all the time but furniture you don't see furniture almost ever so why would furniture be more expensive than clothes i would buy clothes rather than furniture 
I did buy this Art Deco po post poster collection, though, because I, I need more items to put on my walls. There's not enough paintings in the game. And I bought and I bought the cottage, which honestly is definitely the best skin for a house in the game. Hands down. It's 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 unbelievably good. And it's only 3,000 moonstones. It's literally like two months, two months of grinding free moonstones. But I still had some leftover from, from my from my purchases from from the game that gave me for purchasing the game so it's it's all good let's see what they come what, what they bring in three days i'm kind of curious but hopefully they're gonna lower the prices for everything in the future because probably people weren't buying makes sense all right guys these are some updates for you some news some good news mostly good news we're getting a lot of things fixed and patched next week again it's not like it's okay for developers to make mistakes to to introduce bugs during updates it's it happens to every single game what makes a good developer or good company is how they react to the feedback and how fast they fix the issues and in my opinion uh disney dreamlight valley has been one of the best experiences in in, in this area that i've had like there is certainly comp there are companies who leave game breaking bugs in the game until the next major update and yeah you, you know what i'm talking about and they've been handling this game very well so far so i'm 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 very excited to see what 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 else is getting fixed next week thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one subscribe for more content and thank you so much members for supporting this channel you guys are awesome i'll see you very soon goodbye